Okay, here's what we have. This is a rig expert, and it's the AA230 Zoom. It's an antenna analyzer. Uh, yeah, you know, wire antenna. It, it does just about everything. It's definitely a good unit. I bought it about two years ago or so, and it's been working fine. Uh, however, I don't use it a whole lot, and I'm sure a lot of people say that, but it's the truth. <clears throat> as well as I'm sure a lot of people say that. Uh, but there's really no need for me to use it other than if I'm putting up a new antenna or something like that. So I may have used it 10, 12 times within the last year and a half, two years, what times I've bought it and owned it. Um, but I have a problem with it all of a sudden, and I didn't notice it until... Just the other day when I went to turn it on, it wouldn't turn on. I said, what the heck is wrong with that? So it, I hooked it up to the USB, plugged it in, waited maybe 30 seconds or so, hit the button, turns on. Turns on, it's showing me that I got a full charge. On top of that, I turned it off again, disconnected it. I want to check the batteries anyway. Uh, the batteries are Energizer uh, rechargeable, triple A's. Um, again, it's always been working, so I haven't had any problems with it. So, well, let me take the rechargeables out and put a set of Duracells, you know, the copper tops. So I opened a pack that I had purchased, this, uh, I don't know, maybe a week ago or so. Put them in there, and uh, again, one turn on. Plug it back into the USB, turns on, shows the battery. I put the rechargeable ones in. It showed that they were down about a third, and over a period of maybe 15 or 20 minutes, they came right up to charge. <clears throat> so that seems to be working fine. I unplug it from the USB while it's on, and it works. Everything works. So I'm kind of lost here. I have no idea what the heck it does or doesn't do. Uh, I never had that problem. So right now it's on. It's running off a battery, as you can see. Now I'm going to turn it off. Okay, now it's off. Now I'm going to turn it on again. Nothing. Nothing. Now, I don't remember having to push a double button in any way, like a safety on, so that you wouldn't accidentally turn it on while it's in the case or something and kill the batteries. Um, I have to find the book. I went to the website and got it there, and I just got to print it out. Uh, however, uh, it doesn't turn on. Now if I take the USB cord and I plug it into the bottom of the unit first, you never want to put power to a unit from the power being on, just in case you short something out. So power goes in here first. Yeah, if I can find it. Okay, now I'll plug it in to a USB over here. And don't you think it's a 50-50 and I always get it wrong? Well, in this case, it was a 50-50 and I got it wrong twice. Okay, so now it's plugged in. And it turns on. Shows it being plugged in. If I unplug it, it stays on. Shows me on battery. I turn it off, it won't turn back on unless I plug it in again. Anybody have any ideas? It's driving me nuts. Rig expert. 230 Zoom. Uh, never had any problems with it. Like I said, I don't use it a whole lot though. But it's an excellent unit. It really is. If I was to have to buy another analyzer for the money, I would probably buy the same thing again. Um, 
because again, uh, I'm happy with all that it does. So, all right. Anyway, guys, if anybody has any suggestions uh, other than read the manual, because I'm going to take a peek at that. Um, but I don't remember. Let me turn it off. I don't remember. Like I say, I have a unit. I don't remember which one it is. I have it around here someplace. Uh, that you can't just turn it on when it's on battery mode unless you push another button with it. So this here way you can't accidentally turn it on and uh, kill the batteries. So I was thinking maybe the power and the function button. But that doesn't do it. Power and the OK button. That doesn't do it. Hold the power. I'm still holding it. Still holding it. Still holding it. That doesn't do it. It won't turn on until I plug it in. Alright guys. I just wanted to bring that up just to see if somebody has an idea before I uh, call. Now when I bought this, I talked to the rep uh, at the time. Because I wanted to ask a few questions and the, the dealers that were selling it really couldn't answer everything on it. So uh, I got a hold of a rep and uh, I don't have his information anymore. I'm sure I can find it again. Found it once. Should be able to find it again. But um, after he explained everything, I said, okay, so uh, I guess I can go to uh, uh, HRO or something like that. He goes, no, no, here, I'll buy it. Buy it from me. I'll sell it to you right now.